It's Thursday, March 27th, 2025. I am four days away from my PhD examination. This is the culmination of six years worth of painstaking work. And I am preparing for the examination by reading through my entire thesis in full. And then also I'm gonna read through the anonymized exam reports, the feedback that I got from my two examiners after this. I've been told that there is a very good chance I will pass on the big day as long as I am not woefully underprepared and I don't completely bomb the examination. The title of my thesis is called The Effect of High Intensity Circuit Training Versus Traditional Strength Training on Physiological and Psychological Responses in Healthy, Recreationally Active Women. Basically, I'm studying lifting weights in women. It's something I've been very interested in for a super long time. I'm excited that I'm nearing the finish line. I do have a number of manuscripts in different stages of publication right now because we've done some interesting research that I would love to get out there. Right now, I'm gonna read my entire thesis from beginning to end. It's now Friday, March 28th. We're three days out from the examination and I'm going to finish reading my thesis. I'm this close to being done. And then I'm also gonna read through the feedback from the anonymized exam reports so I can be prepared for a mock examination that I'm having in a little over four hours today with my primary and secondary supervisors to make sure I'm extra prepared for Monday. This is my Ollie, he's 12 and a half. And also this is my morning routine. Hi Jelly, <laughs> hello, that's Jelly. She likes to be under the covers. <laughs> there she goes, back down. And then when I'm home, this is my work setup. I'll read out some snippets. Examiner one said, this project was extremely well-developed, thoughtful and thorough. Women's health and wellness issues should continue to be a priority in research as findings are necessary to reveal consistent patterns about gender specific health disparities. Super agree. The candidate showcases strong foundational knowledge of on, on this topic and variables of interest. This multifaceted approach is necessary at this degree level and this candidate demonstrates an appropriate level of mastery. Yay. There's more obviously, but so far, the, the feedback is encouraging. There is some minor feedback with small changes they want me to make, which is totally fine. Briefly, I wanted to come back because I wanted to read out this portion of the exam report. Overall, the candidate has demonstrated the qualities that are required for consideration of the advanced degree Doctor of Philosophy from the Auckland University of Technology. General qualities and abilities relate to advanced critical thinking, professional curiosity for acquisition of knowledge, and discipline-specific mastery. I've been at my office at the warehouse that I'm renting for the past few hours preparing for my upcoming mock examination call. In AUT, the examination is considered a viva, a celebration, it's not a defense. So the vibe is very different from what I'm told a lot of US PhD processes are like. It's more about having a conversation amongst academics. It's not supposed to be a stressful adversarial process and we have a convener in place to ensure that it does not become that way and they will intervene if it starts to do that. I've been told over and over throughout my entire PhD journey that this is more of a relaxed conversation and should be not that unpleasant, but we'll see. How you doing? I'm scared, but it's okay. <laughs> I have gotten off my mock examination call with my primary and secondary supervisors. It was 80 minutes long. Overall vibe is they feel that I am prepared. I need to brush up on my qualitative analysis questions. I have one chapter on that answered, that asked open-ended questions to the participants and then they were um, free writing their responses in paragraphs and then we analyzed their responses like that. So I need to be able to adequately answer why did I use this qualitative method? What is the benefit of a qualitative approach as opposed to a quantitative approach and things like that. Friday, 5 p.m., spending some time at the park with Ollie, Jelly. My husband's here too. We're gonna do an early dinner, probably a movie and call it an early night. It's Sunday, March 30th. We are back at the warehouse office. Yesterday I took as a pretty chill day Saturday. Well, I ran 21 miles. So that part was not chill, but I'm preparing for the London Marathon. So yeah, London Marathon prep plus uh, PhD oral examination prep simultaneously, 
fun times. So I have a few hours today. I'll probably do a max of roughly four hours of my final oral exam prep because in less than 24 hours, I will probably be wrapping up the examination this time tomorrow, which is well to think about. I really think the vast majority of the prep has already been done. And at this point I'm brushing up on the different questions that I think they might be asking me. So I need to obviously be sufficiently prepared to answer those competently and confidently. It is Monday, March 31st, 20 minutes before the big oral exam. I have been reviewing my thesis once again, reviewing the examiner's feedback, making sure I really know my stuff, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm hoping for good vibes. So he, I just want you to know you did some real, real good oh, legit work and, thank you. and they, they threw you a lot of curveballs and you did well. Yeah, a lot of stuff that wasn't in the reports and I had to think <laughs> on my feet. <laughs> I was like, oh, this, I didn't prepare for this. But hopefully, I mean, I guess the responses were at least adequate. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> That felt like a proper examination. Okay, I did it. Dr. Sohili Carpenter, that's me. That's been the whole PhD journey almost to the end. We have some revisions to make and then graduation in August, but 